Okay, that all looks that all looks like that's working. All right, stream has begun. Let me know if you are in the chat. Stream has begun. But you never know what could be <laughs> what could be going wrong. Okay, I've got the dashboard up here. What's up? Hello. What's up everybody? First. Ah, <laughs> uh, you tried to say first, but it looks like a couple people may have beaten you to the punch. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see. Give it a couple minutes and then I will call in the guest. Give me a minute. Ooh, we're chatting nice and fast. Oh, I could actually do it on this screen here. That's bigger. Duh, duh. I'm going to make it bigger over here. Your disk is almost full. Well, that's no good. How's it all going? How's it all going? How are you all doing? Do you want some music? I'm going to put some classic Doki Doki music. Continue. I don't know how loud that is. Let me know if the music's too loud. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger as well. It's like a Doki Doki video, but live! <laughs> Hello? It's good old... What is three dog? <laughs> How is it going? Konnichiwa. As a fellow animator, I can't we wait to steal some professional secrets. Well, that's what we're here to do. We're here to just give away as many animation secrets as possible. Ruin the illusion. That's the, the first, the easiest way to, to ruin anime for yourself is to learn all the secrets and, and know how it's done. Destroy the magic. What are you all animating today? I don't know if we're going to animate or if we're going to draw. I'm going to check out your suggestions in a moment. Are you guys excited about today's guest? <laughs> we haven't had him on stream for a long time, actually. It's been a couple months, I think, since the last time. <laughs> doki Doki Ligature. Ligature, is that the thing that you put on a clarinet to attach the mouthpiece to the, to the clarinet? New subscriber here. What's up, Iman? Konnichiwa. O genki desu ka? Totemo genki desu. We're all very genki. I don't know what todobien means. I love I love how live streaming is probably the fastest way to learn a, a new language, isn't it? Just by reading the chat, I'm having to <laughs> go through all these languages from different 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 countries. Love! Some strong feelings here. That's good. We like strong feelings. We're very hyped. Good, I'm glad. Now, I don't know if you can see, today we're going to be drawing analog. Um, I forgot the paper, so I'll sort that out. I'll sort that in, out in a minute. Oh, wow. Korean, I can't even read it. What's up, Kidoria? That's right, my name is Nihongo Gamer. I appear on Doki Doki a lot. As does today's guest, who I will call in a moment. Actually, before I call him over, I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm gonna get myself at least one more one more piece of music. Um, what's the other one? What's the other one that I want? I'm literally on the YouTube. <laughs> I'm literally on the YouTube free music list right now, just downloading them live. Because <laughs> I think even with a live stream, they can they can like demonetize your your videos or they can mess it up somehow. But if I just drag this into this window here. All right. Where is your accent from? I'm not really sure. My mother gave it to me. All right, I'm going to call today's guest. Are you guys ready? Bring in Mr. Hinoe-san. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was just saying to Mr. Hinoe that it really feels like a, a Doki Doki video with this music. I feel like this, I feel like the light the light is shining just on his shirt. Like a sugoi chodo hikari ga atatte naka so desu ka? Kiroku miemasu. Honto wa genjitsu to midori doki doki. His, his shirt his shirt his shirt is green but it looks yellow in the in the screen. 
which is weird because I think, oh yeah, the, no, the, the further, the closer I get over here, the more, the more yellow my clothes pick up. Raise your hand if it's nighttime in your country. It's not nighttime here, it's midday. We don't speak Japanese! Don't worry, I will, I will translate as much as possible. O genki desu ka? Mama. <laughs> I said, I said, how are you? He said, I'm okay. <laughs> えっと、<笑> 最初の方作ってたんで、で、それを見たスポンサーが、あ、これでいいんじゃねと思って、そのままもう。なるほど。よくわかんないんだけど。So <笑> <なるほど。笑> I just I just asked him, what have you been working on recently? He said he's been working on a special anime project which is an animation and a video game, and he was working on both of them at the start, and then the game kind of ended up going kind of awry and needing more money and it's kind of fallen by the wayside. And the sponsor's looking at the an the anime, which is going fine, and they're they're just going straight ahead with the anime. So it looks like <laughs> it looks like this does happen. This you're you're talking to we're talking to a real anime industry professional here. This is from the inside. Sometimes these projects start off game and anime, and then they just end up anime only. I guess there, there must be some projects. Tamani naka gameu dake ni na na gameu no mini nani masu ka? So you pattern mo ani masu ka? Dou nan de shou? Ikoto wa ma. よくある話なのか。ま、途中であの制作中止になることはよく時々は耳にしますけどね。He uh, says it, it does happen. It does happen sometimes where it will just stop part way. あ、でもアニメーションの方がもう何をやるかもう決まってやるあるから突然中止になるそんなにないから。いろいろ大人は事情っていうのがあるから。He said there's a some, you know, some of the, sometimes complicated, it, it gets complicated sometimes, so sometimes, yeah, even animations could get... I suggested that maybe because it's a, a video game, the development could get complicated and it could end up in the cancellation of the series, but with animation, I thought maybe it's not so complicated, but uh, he said it can get complicated sometimes. Doki 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 doki! Can I send you fan art of your channel? Absolutely! If you are a member of the Discord, you can go to, I think we have a room called Share Your Art, and if you want advice on your art and potentially to become a part of a Doki Doki video, you can use Discord. It's not called Discord, it's called Art Advice Requests. It's in the Discord link below. じゃあ、早速何か書きましょうか。はい。何がいいかな。一応視聴者に何を書いて欲しいか聞いてみ I'm just uh, going to I asked him what we should draw. We're going to look at the not Creative Studio. I can't click on the right link. How do, where's, where's the link that says my channel? My channel. We'll get there. <laughs> my channel. Whoa, there's like over a hundred of you people here. Great! Thank you very much for joining. We're going to get straight to what you guys were suggesting. We're going to look first, just because I have it up here on this computer. We're going to look at the YouTube page. We've got a bunch of comments and a bunch of likes. Thank you very much. Let's go with top comments. How to draw animals. Hey,動物の描き方。ほう。最初、最初からうん、まあ、動物にもいろいろありますけどね。えっと、一応書いてあるのが、what's written here is four-legged animals with paws. Four-legged animals with hoofs. じゃ、猫とか犬とかのような足と、and uh, a cat paw for all of you Neko lovers. Yep. You can see I've got a second screen here. This, it's kind of, 
It's, it's kind of yeah. weird. The frame rate's kind of awkward. Mm. I don't know why. Shh. Looks fine up there. Looks kind of strange on screen. Show show my chocolate. Um. So, don't know why it's got the. Frame rate. Let's see if that's fixed it. And in the meantime, I'm going to find. Oh, do you do you want to use the challenge is can you draw the. I don't know what Nikukyu is in English, but the, the soft pad parts of the paw. He's jumping straight into drawing for us. I'm going to just move this camera so you can get a closer look. It's easier in post when we make doki doki videos. But here we have to do it manually. It's also quite dark. I'm just gonna try and change it so that it's easier to see, but I may have to make it really dark. Okay, it's a little dark, but hopefully that makes it a little easier to see. Can you guys let me know in the chat if that's made it easier or harder to see? How are we, how are we looking? <laughs> Zoom! I personally think it's made it a little easier to see, but it is dark, which is a, a shame, isn't it? <laughs> guys, we're gonna, we're gonna ban that word if you keep using it. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know exactly how. Is there like a list? I can add it to the... There used to be like a way to like add words to the ban list. Clicking on here. Now you can add mods and remove mods, but you can't... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's right, family friendly. Let's stay family friendly. It's Doki Doki after all. It's Doki Doki after all. Don't make him ban the word. I'll do it. I'll do it if necessary. It's really difficult to see, but hopefully when he puts some... some and I was gonna say end pizza. <laughs> Some pencil line when he does the the line art it'll be easier to see. Ah, uh, it should be easier to see now. I'm gonna zoom in again. Zooming time! I'm gonna also make it brighter. How's the stream, by the way? Everything looking okay? Is sound okay? Is voice okay? Yeah, I know. It was difficult to see, but hopefully it's easier to see now. Is this looking good? Okay, good. I wonder why it's called Niku Q. I actually don't even know. <laughs> Guys, family friendly. How many times do we have to ask you? Don't make me do it. Don't make me add words to the ban list. <laughs> this would be so much easier on, on other platforms. Not to, uh, <laughs> not to name any specific names, but other platforms make it easier to add, add words to lists and stuff. YouTube will get there one day. He said the nails can yeah. come out <laughs> like that. So <laughs> only. Cute. 
、まあ、同じような感じで犬の方なんですけど。ああ、ちょっと。So let's see, how does he, how does the change, how does it change between the cat hand and the dog hand? Thank you for subscribing! Alright, let's check these. Craig draws, thanks for the advice. I'm gonna try and figure out if I can do that live. <laughs> Doing my best here. There's a lot of stuff to do at the same time. Community settings. Let's try it. By the way, thanks as always, everyone who's taking part in the Discord. You guys are always making it a bubbling, exciting place to be. I feel like anytime I log in, there's always people in there chatting and giving each other advice on art, sharing their art. It's great. Just want you all to know you're doing a good job. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's add words to the ban list. See, the thing is, I don't even know if it works until it updates. Save. I'm gonna try, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Thanks for subscribing! Oh! So, it's a good one. I just, I just asked him about the drawing of the, the dog's hand that he's drawn. And as you can see with the cat, the nails can like extend from the hand. But with the dog, it's constantly coming out. Dingo on my 40! Thank you for the donation! Two dollars! Konnichiwa. Nidoru no kifu moraimashita. Konnichiwa. Thanks for using Japanese for us. Good day to you too, sir or madam. Or whatever's in the, in the middle. Wow, you guys are chatting really fast. I'm doing my best to keep up, but you guys are really killing it today. And kill it in a good way. I don't know if there is there a bad way. I feel like I want to say you're killing it, but killing it sounds like it sounds bad, doesn't it? But it's, it actually means good. It's like it's like the word sick. I remember when I was in junior high school, my teacher in America, he's like, what is what is sick? Why, why are people saying sick when it means good? Isn't sick bad? Oh, there's 160 of you people watching. Great! なるほど。なんか猫の方が柔らかそうですね。そうですね。犬はほら結構外とか歩き回って結構カサカサに硬いじゃないですか。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
相手<笑>ほとんど日本語話せないんですけど、うん、犬納豆<笑>気に入ってる言葉は犬と納豆かな<笑>納豆好きですかんああ好きですよ He know I like s 納豆 <laughs> And anyone who doesn't speak Japanese,、um, the message was I can barely speak Japanese, but here's a couple Japanese words Inu and Natto. Inu is dog, Natto is fermented soybeans, <laughs> but it doesn't really need a translation because you would never call it fermented soybeans in the West. You would just call it Natto, I guess. Chicken wing! He calls it chicken wing, not chicken leg. <laughs> I'm getting my, getting my streamers mixed up. すごいね。鳥の足が全然<笑>全然違いますね。結構恐竜の足と共通してるんで、鳥の足。ああ。So、it's very similar to like a, a, a dino 恐竜。<笑>似てるってことですか。うん。というか恐竜のがあの滅んだと思いきや。ずっと子孫をつないできて、今の鳥類になってるっていうのが今の学説ですからね。そうね。So you're saying, well, it's, it's, it's completely different, first of all, and it kind of looks like he said, well, you kind of think about the fact that it's, it, come, it descends from the dinosaurs. あれ、鳥だと四本だけですか？ここに、うん、なんか。五本目はなんかここに来るんですかね。さ最初から四本だけだっけ。うん鳥の種類にもよるからね。<笑>チェキンチェキンフォッ。うんなんかこれグーグルに入れたら危ない数が。でうん。なんかバンドあ確かに四つだけですね。まあ、こ,すねこのこの辺なんかもともと一本あったかな。うん。But we're looking at some really、まあ、gross images. <laughs> yeah, he said there's lots of different varieties,、mm. always remember. So now Hinoe is going to overlay the previous image with. Ah, Judd. Kore o t s u k e m a s h i Gonna turn on the light tracer. Don't you love these professional streams? <laughs> Don't worry, it will be easier to see in a moment. We're going to turn on the light table. If you're wondering what table this is, we received it from Gaomon. That's not a Digimon. They sent it to us and we reviewed it in a previous video. You can check that out. What did he get? Probably, I'm going to go to the next one. 欲しい高さで止めたらいける。これくらいかな。うん。So we got the light table on now。はい。そうだな。でこれから一応オフするときにタップするだけで、うんうん、全部オフと戻ってくる。うん、はい。I was just showing him how to use the the gown one. I mean, I think he's used it before, but we use like a bunch of different light tables on here. So he's doing a little correction to his cat hand, finishing it off with the line. Genga keyframe animation. He's gonna show us how to show the, the fingers kind of twitching a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe we're, we've decided to do that. I bet when you wrote that in the chat, you didn't think we were actually gonna do it, but here we are. Yep, Hinoe is a professional Japanese anime animator, specializes in, well, everything. I'm almost going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going Robot design, action, cats, whatever they throw at him, really. You know, he's a no, sen, sen, yo, sen, mo, wa, nan, desk. Ah, genga desne. Ah, genga deske do, like, shuri, toka, robot animation, toka, character, toka, hai, ah, nyon animator, wa, nan, demo, kake, nagi, nan, desu, yo. I asked him, what is, what is his main subject in animation? And he said, if you're a Japanese animator, you have to be able to draw everything. <laughs> but his main, his main job is drawing keyframe animations. So, not the in betweens, but the, the main key visuals, like the character on the left and then on the right. And then you have to you get the in betweeners to do the, the, the frames in between. 
That's basically what the whole channel is. If you don't know that, then <laughs> what have you been watching? I'm loving all the foreign languages, guys. Sugoi! No, I trusted you. <laughs> the light tables at my animation school were bigger. Um, well, so Hinoe was actually telling me in a previous shoot that we did last week that the animators here have like a desk and the light table's built into the desk and so there's no gap between the light table and your normal desk. It's like flat. But what we've got here is just a makeshift like portable light table. But there are desks in this building that have proper lights built into the desk. So I asked him if he's doing cleanup now. What he he's not actually doing cleanup. This is actually just the second frame. He's jumping straight into it. He's just slightly moved the images. So that it's in a different position to the first one. So I guess we'll see after we do the flip. Korekara Donaruka. We'll see we'll see how it looks. A twitching paw. This is not what I thought we were gonna be doing today. <laughs> wow, there's so many of you in this chat today, guys. This is great. 160 of you. It's a very, very healthy stream. And I do apologize that it's the same music. He's checking with the uh, that classic animation flipping. By the way, secret information, since you're here at the stream, we're starting a new series on foundation animation. Like, from the very start, and we've got two different courses, as it were. There's going to be a digital, like getting straight into cheap apps that you can animate from the start, so not just complicated head-turning things, but like from the very beginning, if you've never drawn animation before, how to get into animation. We've got a digital series and an analog series. So look forward to that coming up. <laughs> so you can see he's flipping the animation now, you can see that the the hands themselves are slightly moving, and you can see that the the, the nail. So he's actually had the the nail do a wider motion than the the separate digits of the paw. Gives it a real motion without having to wildly move the hands. You can actually use those nails to give it more motion. Live animation. Where else do you get this? あ、ずらして描けばそれっぽく見えるもんですよ。ずらして描けば。どういうことですか?うん。少し、少しずっと線を移動させていけば。どういうことですか?その2枚目。この上の絵を。まあ、ああ、ちょっとずつ動かしてい
Where is the... Uh... This one's good. Found it! Okay. Download it. Where else do you get professional streams like this where you download the background music while streaming? Come on. You can't get that anywhere else. Alright! Change of mood. Alright, so he's given you he's giving you a, a slight back angle of this horse hoof. So that you can actually see the the shape. I guess the most interesting part of the shape is this. This back angle. Time to read the chat. You didn't notice there was background music. Yeah, well it's it's probably not picked up too loudly by the mic. Please draw a human walking animation. I think we could we could definitely put that into the series. We're not starting mm. with the human walk cycle because it is there's actually quite a lot going on. He's finished! Wow. あ、じゃ、結局多分これ何本が皆さんかな。この感じ。えー。じゃ、足から移動しましょう。はい。えっと、ちょっと面白そうなのが。俺がチェンジサブジェクトナウ。ちょっと面白そうなのが。多分影の
as you know from Doki Doki videos before. I think this may have helped. Oh, that makes it much easier to see. All right. <laughs> but, it, but it means, as, as, as you can see, or, uh, <laughs> you, can, you can compare the, the color of a normal hand compared to the high contrast. It's just very, very, it's just much darker than real life. But sometimes we used to get those comments. We used to get comments that are like, Whoa! We can't, we can't tell what color your hands are. And then it's because the whole video was done with high contrast mode. A flowy dress would be nice. Oh, he's gone for a nice, he's gone for a, oh, he's gone for a, a Nihongo gamer jacket today. <laughs> this is more like a, これのもう少しフォーマルですね。カジュアル、フォーマル、スマート、あれ、英語だとスマートカジュアルって言うんですけど、日本語もありますかえこ,れこういうフォーマルじゃないけど、ジャケットを。カジュアル。カジュアルって言うからね。I think in, in, in Japanese they call smart casual is just casual. 今、質問が来て、なんで青い、あ、水色、鉛筆使ってますかあまあ。目に優しいからかな<笑><笑> So the question was, why is he using a blue pencil color before? まあ、好みによってね、赤を使う人もいるし、オレンジを使う人もいるし。Mm-hmm. He said, it depends on your preferences. Some people use orange, some people use red, some people use blue, but for him it's just easy on the eyes, he says. Hello from Brazil! The idea of foreigners creating manga in Japan is a, in Japan is a possible idea, or would this be an impossible dream? <laughs> it happens that people do bring it to the publishers. で、なんか外国人でも名前、なんか別の名前使ったら外国人なのかわからないよね。まあ、そうですね。実は外国人海外の方。うん、日本でのやり方だと。うん。<laughs> He said, well, in this current generation, it could be easier because a lot of people are getting offers through the internet. But it doesn't sound like there's any like very specific examples that come to mind right now. What I was suggesting is that, who knows, we may well have had, we may already have foreigners drawing manga for famous manga companies, manga companies, publishers in Japan, but how would you know? Because maybe just to, I don't know, maybe it affects sales if you put a foreign name on a manga. So who knows, maybe they're using pseudonyms and fake names. So who knows, maybe your favorite mangaka is actually a foreigner. You may never know. Just use a fake name. That is the, that is the world. もう少し左の方にありがとうございます。So as you can see, he's put in nice, lots of nice folds for us. You can see as his arm is lifted slightly like so. You can see that he's got a fold here on the jacket. He's got a fold where the arm is bending, and these are all places that will be interesting to see. Where he puts the shadows in later. Kage, Kage, m u s i k a s h i isne. Karada ni ireru kage to fuku ni ireru kage. Do you fu ni shigaro no kana? Yo ma, litai o ishiki s u c h e irete gu dake deskara. So na ni wa kawarane masen kedo ni. He said it doesn't change too much between. Clothing shading and skin shading, but he said what's important is to keep in mind the three, dimensional, three dimensionality. 
Good grief. Language. <laughs> I can't speak. Can you draw with your left hand? Uh, I can. I just... It just looks terrible. <laughs> draw with the foot. Uh, well, we would have to change the camera setup, but honestly, that could be fun for a future stream. I think Tony would be up for that. That would be cool. We'll suggest it to him. Be like, Tony, let's draw with our feet. I'm sure he'd be up for that. I believe I've been mixing jacket folds with normal t-shirt folds. T-shirts no. Shiba? Do, jacket no shiba ga doi fuu ni jiatte kuru desu ka? Sou de. Kurabeiru mon de mo nai shi na. It's not something you can really compare. Nanka kono hito ga yoku kanchigai shite, nanka t-shirts no youna sozai de irete takedo jacket no nanade. Sozai no atsumi to ka o he said it's best to just consider the thickness of the fabric while you're putting in your, your line art. But I guess you'll see because he's got both here. He's got a shirt on the inside and he's got a jacket on the outside. You'll be able to see exactly how he does it. Oh, as you can see from the two examples he's drawn here, the top example is for like thin fabric, and the lower example is for like thicker fabric. You can see where, where it bends, you see more of the thickness of the fabric. That's a really great example. Thanks for asking that question, by the way. <laughs> Draw your nostrils, that could be fun. Collaborate with Mikey Mega Mega. Send him a message. So tell him to send us a message. That would be fun. We're all up for lots of collaborations. We're gonna branch out. Feel free to comment, even after this video is finished, in the comments below. So who would you like to collaborate with? Maybe we'll send some messages out. You made it from Peru. Konnichiwa. I'm not really sure how people greet each other in Peru. Ah, Hopefully you guys can still see that. It looks, it looks in focus to me. Yeah, we'd love to collaborate with people. Just been, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been tricky to figure out exactly what kind of content we would make and stuff. But I think the ideas will just, the ideas will just happen if we send out some messages, huh? So let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. No guarantees, of course. It's all down to timing and whether we can get the right guests in at the right time and all that. But if we do have the time, it would be cool. You can see he's adding the lines for the t-shirt now. This is really nice. It's really funny. I really ought to be... I really ought to be talking, but when you when you watch stuff like this, you, you get mesmerized by the visuals. You just kind of you just kind of stare at it. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. That's basically my job. In in Doki Doki videos, whatever the artist says, I just have to go, oh. <laughs> That's my job, right? You know it. Any advice for people who want to start animating? Watch Doki Doki videos. アニメーション始めたいと思うと、アドバイスありますか。そうさな。早速やってみるか、まあ学校に入るとか。早速会社に行って仲割りやりますよとか。今の時代アニメーターになるのはあんまりおすすめできないな。we asked him if there's any what what advice he would have for I must say Shana Holy Ariata Lemus. Asked him what advice he has for anyone who wants to get into animation. He said, eh, in this generation I just wouldn't really recommend it. Just don't <laughs> Well that's Ima digital no animation no yet more. Ima digital no tool the animation no soft 
個人で楽しんでやった方がいいと思いますよ。It's more fun to just study it alone and just do it on your computer. It's true, I guess animation is not. The animation that you see in Japan is like a very different style of work. Like, there's, it's a different style of animation, like in terms of style, but in terms of how you work, it's. it's It's like, a, I mean, I've been talking to Hinoe while making these videos, and often, I've been asking him about it, and it's like, it sounds like it's a lot about collaborating in a team and making sure that you understand what the director wants, what the producer wants. There's a guy, who, there's a guy who's in charge of con continuity. His job is just to make sure that all of the artists working in different areas. All of their art looks like it's cohesive. It's like, it's really, really different to just, oh, I like to animate. It's more like, it's like joining a factory, it sounds like. Yeah, we've got two animation series coming out, so do check those videos out. It'll be for people who want to get into animation. We've got, we've already got three recorded for analog animation and three recorded for digital animation, so look forward to that. We'll be using the iPad. For digital, I mean, we could use Clip Studio as well. I think that'd be fun to see how Hinoi finds the Clip Studio animation. <laughs> And it'll be fun to see how the animation looks on iPad versus the Clip Studio software. But we're also doing it analog as well. Any advice for staying focused while drawing? Kaku toki ni shuchu suru advice ni ka? コーヒーレッドブル集中ね自分結構ラジオ聞きながら仕事してるんですよ。ヒノエ is often listening to the radio, he says, when he's drawing. やっぱ使ってるのが違うんですかねながらができるんで。どういうことですかんあ、うん、早い音楽とか。そういうわけですね、まあ音楽でもいいでしょうし自分の場合はラジオを聞きながら仕事をしても全然邪魔にならないああラジオっていうのがトーク番組とかそうですねああ、そ、so、の he says radio after he said radio he said well everyone has different things that they listen to it might be for you music and like I thought he meant music he, so when he said radio he was actually talking about like talk shows and podcast type things I think Does Hinoe and other animators use the 12 principles of animation? Animation no juniko no. Principle de nandake? No, what? Nanka, kai wai de animation no juniko no kihon? Ho. Ga aru rashi. Narodo. So they ga kita koto e maska. Juni no kihon ne. Nandaro. So they ga Disney no kaki kata no hon ni kaiti aru kona. Hey. 12 principles. I'm gonna look it up. What is 12 principles of animation? Can you let me know? We, it sounds like he, he knows not really heard of it before. I hope you guys are paying attention to the way he's adding the folds to this. I tried to zoom in, but I couldn't. すごい具体的なところだけど、この小さい線、下に書いてあって、こ,、えー、とこのシワの下に、うんはいはい、これは、あ、これまだ青の線なんだっけえんこれは青,青の線が残ってますね。あ、わかりました。あ、すごい。I thought maybe he'd draw in an, an extra そこにも線に入れますかんえあ、OK。I thought he'd draw in an extra, an extra line there, but it was just the, it was the, rem, the remnants of the blue. Oh, this is a beautiful hand. It's good she. Ah, to lay zehi. Teno. Teno. Kots to kaka kots to ka. Or sit to see this. Oh, yeah. Ma, daitai. Choto jibri sakhi yori smart on a kanji natchatagelo. 
Ghibli. Ah, mm. he said more. He said it's not. It's not very Ghibli like, but it's 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 kind of smart. Or any kage o tsuite tsukete mimashou ka. He's gonna add shading. Arigatou mm. All right, guys, this is the part you guys were asking about. How do you add shading on clothing? So da na. Ma kage no hoku toshite yappari yoku tsukau. Kotchi no hoku desu ka ne. So he's gonna decide the direction of the shading by deciding the direction of the light source. <laughs> he said it, it'll make your life much easier if you just add one big shade underneath the head, like so. <laughs> these, these are, this is it, guys. These are the, the tricks of the trade that you were asking for. One giant shade under the head. そして、そうだな。まあ、こういう袖とかね、裾あるじゃないですか。うん。そういうところをとりあえずこういう風にすると影が落ちてて、それっぽく見えるんで。So he said where you've got the hems of the jacket and the arm sleeves of the arms of the jacket, you're likely to get shade shadows there. As you can see, he's quite simply adding it along the shape of the jacket. Daitai jacket to fuku no sen to onaji katachi ni narimasu. Ma, zakkuri kore de kugitte mo ne, ii n desu kedo. He said you could even just have one big line for the shadow of the jacket. You don't have to have it in stair a staircase fashion like he's done it here. I guess it just depends on what style you're going for. Can I watch this later? Yes, you will be able to watch the archives later. We archive all of our live streams. This will be available sometime quite soon, hopefully, after the stream is finished. Sometimes we have to change a few of the settings afterwards, but then it will be available. You'll be able to watch it with all of this live chat and everything. So, stay no. So he's added some shading in the palm. As you can see, it's hidden since the light source is in the top left. I'm just going to change the angle in this camera a little bit so we can see a bit more. Actually, probably most of the shading is on the bottom, so I don't need to move it so drastically. He's added shading underneath the armpits of the jacket and also even, <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite specific, the area where the jacket pocket is opening. もう一回ちょっと質問があるんですけど、このこういうところで光がここに来てもこの上ここと別の方向から見ると at first it didn't seem like there would be shading there but he said when you when you think about it the light is coming from his from above and to the to the right and so 
the part of the jacket on the arm that's facing this direction would have shading. Ah, one more thing. I'm not sure if you're going to get a little bit of 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 a l i t あの考えられる限り影をあの入れていくと本当に再現がないんでああ<笑>そこら辺はあの<笑>塩梅っていう言葉知ってます塩梅塩梅 So time to look up the dictionary <笑><笑>極めて日本語的な表現なんですけど前に前に,前にありましたね塩梅塩梅 Well basically what he said earlier 塩加減なんですよああ seasoning Okay so I asked him, I, I said I, I was asking him, if, is, it, is it because the jacket is resting on the body, but here it's kind of a little more open? And he said, it's, it's, he said, if you think about it too hard, you could put shading in forever. There's really just no limit to how much shading you can put in. So he said, instead, you think about it like seasoning and adding flavor to your drawing. He said, if you're going to put some more shading in there, It would be maybe here at the top. わかりました。ありがとうございます。まあ、とまあ。えー、で、そこは引っ張ってるから。そうですね。So the part where he's put shading into the buttons, it's because the, the jackets, there's, there's, it's stretching around the body. It's being, they're pulling on the buttons. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing with my jacket, my shirt, but, but it's pulling like this, so you would see the. You can actually see in real life, I've got. He said that's about it for this one. Hi, hi. So let's just have another quick look at, at this, this drawing. That's amazing. I hope you guys are, are learning a lot from this. I'm going to give you a really nice, really, really, really. Whoa, I've gone too far. I'm going to give you a nice close up here from the start. So we started with this large, more general shadow. From the head going down to the jacket itself, we've got these hidden bits of shadow. I'm gonna use my pencil. We've got hidden bits of shadow underneath the collar of the jacket, even some shadow under the collar of the shirt, then some shadow on the, under the collar of the jacket. There, going down, again, more shading here on the side of this. I don't even know what you call this, lapel, whatever it is. Thank you for subscribing! Tension on the shirt causing it to pull on the buttons. So, sh so folds are being created here. So it's two lessons in one, really. It's a, it's a lesson on folds, but it's also a lesson on, on shading. Even though this is facing up, it's also facing towards the viewer. So there should be shading here. Some on the bottom of the sleeve, and as you mentioned right at the start, these places where the sleeves end and places where the, the jacket hangs loose, we've got shading there, plus shading on the inside of the hand as well. Keeping in mind, this is interesting, this is, this is clearly taking into account the shape of the, the actual. ちゃんとこういう厚みがあって、I was, I was just saying to him, it's, it's nice that clearly keeping in mind the shape of the thumb. They've got shading that comes down here. でこれが結構複雑な<笑>加減になります。この足が後ろに行ってる感じですかね。まあそうですね。でこの三角い形がシワですか、ね。この線は。あの股間から引っ張られて伸びてる線なんですよ。それを想像しないとお尻の方から。うん。So this this line, this diagonal line, this is not his leg. This is a fold which is coming from the back of the trousers because on the on the trousers where the fabric can fall down, it can fall down from the back of the trousers and lead to the front of the trousers. So often he has a line coming from the back. Of the trousers leading to the front. Sure. <laughs> 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 
入れられるし、まあ、この仕事をやってるとこれは基本なんで覚えておかないと<笑> He said for, for a job like this this is, this is foundation This isn't even like anything special in his, in his mind this is, this, is pretty, this is pretty standard You need to be able to do this So in answer to your question If you want to get into animation Where is a good place to start? Well just consider that this sort of level will become your base level you should be aiming to be able to draw a character from imagination like you did add clothing into it add folds to it and then add the shading to it if you want to be able to do this on a daily basis as your job okay next drawing mm. I'm gonna I would think probably time wise we'll probably do one more one more little project. Is there anything you'd like to see me draw and have corrected? Let me know in the chat. I think it'd be nice to have a an advice session. What's got any kite so not on the good otherwise suit for I take you now. お願いします。はい。あ、あすみません。どうぞどうぞどうぞ。あ、ごめんなさい。<笑> Sorry. By the way, today's coffee is not from McDonald's. In the end, we 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 kept saying, we kept saying, come on, sponsor us McDonald's, but then clearly nothing happened. So I've gone with a different company because they didn't sponsor us. <laughs> Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Son Goku. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not gonna draw Goku today. I think that might take a little bit too long. A Jojo pose, angle of face, something not too difficult. Kami. Ah, nureteru kami no kei toka. Oh, pose toka kami. A city. Tokai. Sono toshi. Shi. City. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not drawing. I'm not drawing a city today. That's gonna take too long. It looks like it's gonna be hair. Is it gonna be greasy hair or wet hair? Wet. Hmm? All right, I'm gonna draw some wet hair. Whoa, void born. Thanks for your time, Hinoi. Ano, Nidoru no kifuka kimashita. Hinoi san, arigatou gozaimasu. Tanoshikatta. Thank you very much. I'll wait for that to show up on here. All right. Well, I'm going to try and draw and speak at the same time. This is uh, maybe I'll. All right. I'm going to draw some hair. I'm going to draw some wet hair. じゃあ、濡れ、濡れてる髪の毛。どういう、どういうポーズだとそうなるのか。え、とりあえず頭描きましょうか。そうね、頭、頭描いて。うん。じゃあ、動いているようなバスケとか。うん、やってる途中の。
っていつも言われているようにそのセンターラインから少し浮かした方がそうですね。This is a problem of all the, all the pretty much every video I make the same mistake I don't draw the I don't draw the, the nose actually coming off the center line He likes to point that out to me So let's just draw an, an eye in here I'm gonna have the eye facing this direction As if they're, they're looking where they're gonna go or who they're gonna who they're gonna pass it to. I've been drawing digital. Like, I've been drawing digital. 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 This is hard for me because I was drawing digital all week last week. <laughs> and and now, now I want to like zoom in and I can't. I realize the frame rate's got a little bit funny with the camera, but bear with us. We don't really know why it's doing that. Draw a simple mouth. I got used to drawing with it. With the tablet. Drawing this eye may be a little bit too big, but the focus on this drawing is not the eye so much. Wet hair. I am going to sharpen this pencil a little bit. Arm poses. What kind of arm poses would you like to see? Just sharpening my pencil a little bit <laughs> on the side. Yosh, Kami. I'm going to draw some eyebrows first. Put in an ear. Kami, Kami, Kami. Ja, kore da to, tabi, magatteru shinkan da kara, kochi gawa ni nabiteru yo ni kakukka. I think this person's gonna be turning. But if it's wet, I guess. The hair will be in, in like smaller bundles. I'm really I'm really scared of what he's gonna he's gonna say to me. I feel like I've drawn this picture before. <laughs> It feels the same as like a, a, a picture I've drawn in the in the past. Hmm. Um, this is turning out to be harder than I expected. <laughs> ah. If it's wet hair, <laughs> maybe it'll stick to the stick to the face a bit. So I'm gonna draw the hair sticking to the face a bit. Let's see if that let's see if that turns out to be correct. This is the uh, this is my my main challenge with with drawing hair, is I get bored around the top. だいたい上上の方描いてるときに、なんかあもう飽きちゃって、なまけなまけちゃうもんなんだ
I'm not really sure if this hair is is wet. It doesn't look wet to me. Or rather, I'm not really sure what I could do to change the hair to make it look wet. All right, that is the that's the general look of it. I'm just going to put in some fast pencil lines on top. I guess I could have used a, a separate piece of paper. So, so I'm going to put it on Should I just put it on the tap? Sometimes the, the light table falls asleep. Do you need to the moisture? <laughs> this is for removing the removing the the dirt from the erasings, the sh shavings. Would it look more wavy? The hair is literally flying away. That's exactly what's happening. I think I'm just gonna just contrast or something else. I'm just gonna change the contrast so you guys can actually see what we're drawing. It'll look a bit like there we go you can kind of see that okay gonna try and not take too long doing this so that we can actually get some advice afterwards do you think the strands would be thinner Okay, you should still be able to see. Eh. That looks awful. In the interest of time, I won't take too long deliberating over each strand. This is generally, if I were drawing a, a, a person playing basketball, this is pretty much how I would draw it though. Almost there. I'm not even sure if you would see this part of the hair. And he said depend he said it depends on the depends on the the artist and the work. Just draw the ear a little bit. I feel like in a lot of drawings that the the ear would actually be covered, but I don't know. I feel like the the ear helps you know where where the character's looking, so I, I draw it anyway, even if it's probably not supposed to really be there. Last skin or jarty. Draw the eyes. How about you guys at home? How does this compare to how you would draw some hair? And also, if you're interested to draw the same challenge with us, you could even submit it to the Discord later. You could submit it to the Discord now. You probably don't have time to just download it and put it on stream right now. But it's an option.
think we're looking down on her. It's another thing I do, I don't really choose what angle I'm drawing until after I've drawn it. Rotate a little bit. Uh, it's, it's so thin, I can't see. I actually erased too much. So look forward to the, whatever advice we get after this. The whole point of this is to take this challenge, draw a character with what I think is wet hair, but to be quite honest, I don't really know what that entails, so I've just drawn normal hair. And once I finish this chin, we can pass it over to Mr. Hinoe. <laughs> he said he hasn't really seriously played too much basketball. So, he said maybe it's a little bit at. He's played a little bit of basketball, maybe just a little bit at school during gym class. How can I make this look? If the light is coming from here, he said, "What would he said? What do you do to make it look like it's wet?" I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that we can put in my highlight like so. I don't know. Maybe would would you put some highlights here? Put some. Some highlights here. <laughs> I am really doing this randomly. He said, he said, I don't know about the way you put those highlights in. Yeah, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just going to pass it to him in this state. I think he's kind of excited because he knows that I've, I've not made it look like it's wet at all. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna draw some wet hair for us. Contrast on my side. Just making it so it's a little bit easier to see again. He's drawing the head shape for us. It looks like the character is facing up and away from us very slightly. It's from a slightly lower angle. <laughs> he looks mad. I wonder if he was upset. This is basically how all videos go. <laughs> I draw something terrible, and then he looks at it in a sort of disapproving manner. <laughs> I feel like that feather duster could be used to hit someone. It, it could, I just don't think it would hurt mu that much. Otsukare <laughs> sama, thank you very much. Wet hair is a lot heavier and usually darker and clunkier. Well, we shall see. So he's 
He's got a character here with, it looks, I don't know if this is like a ponytail coming from the back. So cool to be able to see this stuff live, isn't it? Three cheers for Hinoe. Looking forward to going back through this chat later on, reading all of you guys' tips on drawing wet hair. How wet is the hair? Well, in my picture, I was drawing it as if the hair was just like sweat level wet. I suppose I could have been playing basketball in the rain. So we're still drawing the main lay in. The rough sketch. Looks like a character in maybe a, a bathrobe. Perhaps the hair is. <laughs> so he's drawn a he's drawn a character that's wearing their bathrobe maybe like after a shower and that's why their hair is wet. I think wet hair would be messy. I actually can't I never I never look at my hair when it's wet. I have no idea. And actually my hair is not that short. So actually, I could use my own hair for, for reference. Alright, he's laying in some of the, the volume for the hair now, as you can see. Properly resting above the shape of the head. So it's not just completely flat. Though I think it would be not too puffy, right? Because it's weighed down by all the, the water. Are you going to add subtitles later? Absolutely not. We're doing live translation. If someone else wants to translate this, they can, but it, it'll take like an hour and a half. Well, it'll take a whole day to translate an hour and a half video. <laughs> yeah, I think the wet hair is probably weighed down. He, he does usually add more volume. I guess maybe he's made... made he, he's given it volume, obviously, because there is volume, but not the same volume as if it were dry. Let's really try and analyze this and gain some some hair mastery how different is a Japanese art teacher compared to a Western art teacher I don't know you know you could check with with Tony because Tony actually did art school so he has experience with Western art schools I had I have no idea the only art school I had in the West was just at school art class Alright, he's very carefully laying out the positions of the eyebrows, bridge of the nose. Looks like we've got the first strands of hair coming in now. I feel like I feel like if I get good at this, I could I could probably commentate races, races or Street Fighter matches. Is this, is this the level of commentary that's required? Thank you for the drawing tips. Since I'm here on the computer, I'm going to grab us one new audio track, shall I? It's like if you guys are on good behavior, I, ch I choose one new track of music for you every half an hour or so. <laughs> I'm choosing happy music. Let's see what happens. Some of these are not great. <laughs> Some of these tracks are not great. Um, a little bit difficult. I don't know which track to use. All of them look pretty bad. How about this one? Guava juice. This one's... 
This'll do. Oh no, I want one that's long. Let's choose a track that's... Four minutes long. How about this one? Trying to get some... Trying to check out the detail on this hair. Have we any any clues on how it might be diff different to normal hair? One thing you can tell is that he's grouped all of the hair coming down over the shoulders into two main clumps. In fact, he's got the left hand. So he's actually got the left hand of this character coming up and, and touching the hair on the back. Quite a natural post shower pose. Lo fi. Is lo fi in the. I don't know where I would find that in the, in the YouTube list. Is it in hip hop and rap? Let's see if it's in hip hop and rap. Nope, not that one. How about this one? Oh, interesting. Check out how he's... He's got extra little inflections on the hair at the ends. Interesting. So already just, just looking at the, the shapes the shapes on the hair, like here, you can see they've, even if they've got quite a long straight, not too much of a curve to them, at the end, there's a slightly more exaggerated curve on them. Oh, and there's towel action going on. You know, maybe for, maybe for this hair section, we could re-edit it into a, a subtitled video. I think there's quite a lot of stuff to to learn here. Ah, uh, and as we were talking about the drawing of the jacket, in the same way, his the bathrobe on this woman's arm, you can see it's it's got some proper thickness to the sleeve. Got nice large puffy folds in the bathrobe as well. There again, you can see the thickness on the on the collar on the collar of the bathrobe as well. Something I've also just noticed is. Like the hair that's coming down up past the cheek, it's like it, it starts off in a large bunch and then it's, it kind of splays out into different strands. It's a nice little touch. So I didn't actually realize that you can actually just open up Oh, what the? I didn't realize you could just open up the, the creator dashboard in YouTube. You don't even have to download it. You could just click play. This is great. I wish they had like a little jukebox feature that we could use. The hair would droop more. Well, maybe it would. Though the challenge isn't to draw it 
as it would happen in reality. This isn't a, an anatomy or figure drawing class. This is a professional animator and we've just told him, can you draw hair looking wet? Got the eyelids shut. I think it's quite, it's quite common, isn't it? When you're drying your hair, you would, you kind of just naturally just close your eyes because there's really nothing to look at. <laughs> there's again, there's more of those slight detailed flicks of the hair. Mm. <laughs> うん、髪が濡れた時っていうのはまあ観察したことないでしょうけど、うん、濡れるとね、ちりちりとあの上部がかったりするね。うん。like Is this, does this count as lo-fi? <laughs> Crunchyroll Offikiel. <laughs> What's your favorite anime of all time? I did a top 10 on my stream a while ago. I can't even remember what I put in there, but I know that I know that Macross was one of them. This is really impressive stuff. Give you a bit of closer look since we're getting some detail on this hair. By the way, what do you guys think of this this setup with the the tripod up here? I think it gives us a much closer look at what people are drawing. It, it previously, previously when we would draw like this, we would have the camera at an angle from behind just to not get in the way of our heads. But in the end. It kind of just looks better this way. <laughs> I've just noticed about an hour into the stream that this is totally in the way. Oh well. Better late than never. <laughs> Getting some real important stuff. Important details here on the hair. Wow, this sounds like Toe Jam and Earl. It is interesting, isn't it? Is this translated into 16 languages? We're not really translating it into all the languages anymore because the truth is, it's just one translation using auto-translate and it's better to just leave it in English and Japanese and then you can just click the button and it will auto-translate. Google will auto-translate it for you. Oh, check out the detail he's adding on the, on the towel. Getting some really nice details on the texture. I need like a joystick that helps me man this camera. Having to move it around like this is not ideal. Instantly, you know, just by looking at that outline, that it's it's part of the towel and not the clothing. Oh, not the, not the clothing. It's the the towel fabric of the bathrobe and her towel. I guess they're both made of towel fabric. It does look fluffy. It's nice. Thanks for subscribing. My lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks always. I'm going to change the music now. How about this one? I'm not even sure if you can hear this music. So you can use that rounded shape for the entirety of the periphery of this this fabric. 
Now, this is something that Hinoe tells me all the time, though, is that sometimes when we're going to make videos, I'll be like, hey, let's just draw the mouth. And he's like, well, you can't just draw the mouth. you got to draw the mouth as part of the face. And just like, just like that, in the same way right now, it's like, draw some wet hair, but instead of just drawing the hair, he's showing that, you know, the fact that the hair is wet is information that you gather from the character's pose, the clothing they're wearing, the expression they've got on their face, the angle of the head, the way that the hair waves and flicks, texture of the fabric of the bathrobe. There's so many things that can go into the picture that aren't just the hair and adding a highlight to it or something. I think, it's, I think there's a lot to gather from that, especially with anime that... Because when you think about it, anime, because they have to draw, like you say in the chat, thousands of frames, you know, you can't put tons and tons of detail into the hair, so you gotta like use all of these other elements of the animation to give it, give it that detail without adding too many extra lines to draw. Well, that's my opinion. Wet garbage. How about hot garbage? We'll draw hot garbage. I'd like to know what an animator thinks hot garbage looks like. More of those, more of those inflections, you see? Getting more of the hair action here. I love the hair right above the nose. Tokuni hana no ue no ochiteru. ちょっと来るのはすごいね。あ、方向もなんかいろんな方向に、なんか左、右とか全部同じ方向じゃない方が。Mm. So he's saying that normally it would be like straight hair when it's dry, but it's like now that it's wet, it's not shrinking so much, but it's curling up. I was just asking him about is it better to have the hair bending left and right in these different uh, angles and stuff? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, I love this hip-hop playlist on YouTube. If you've got a YouTube account, I'm pretty sure you have access to this. You should all get in on this. Ooh, it's great. Thanks for subscribing! Oh no! Have you been asking a question over and over again? I think I'm gonna be copying and pasting it a couple of times to see if they get, enough, get to answer it. What was the question that you were asking, Marvin? If you animated that towel, how'd you make it so the lines aren't jittery? Ah. I'll ask him in a moment, after we've had a closer look at this. Look at that. Check out the details. It's like he must be constantly thinking about how much detail he's allowed to put in Versus how much, like how much is necessary and how much would be harder to animate. It's on genga kaiteru toki ni, so no doji ni, naka jiteru irete mo, no, hmm, nanti kana. Doi fu ni balance shite masu ka, so no, jiteru iretakute mo, kekyoku iresugi iru to, naka wari ga. やりにくくなる。その作品にはその作品の影の入れ方があるんで、それに合わせてやってるだけですよ。あ、なんですか。その作品にはその作品の影はこういう風に入れましょうっていう基本があるんで。あ、影じゃなくてその中割りっていうか
<laughs> okay, so I said, how are you balancing the, the work required? How are you balancing the amount of detail you put in knowing that it has to be animated with in-betweens later? And he said, well, <laughs> I put all this work into the, into the keyframe, so the in-betweeners better put in the work to animate it. <laughs> it's not the, not the response I was expecting. That's good. あ、そしてがこれ。ああ、白く もうアニメーション入れるとこういうえ、曲がってる線はどうなりますかうん、動画さんに割ってもらいます。So <笑><笑> uh, Marvin I asked your question or I don't know if it was your question or someone else's question. I said how would you go about animating the the towel knowing that the 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 shape of the line art on the towel is is so detailed in tiny little bumps. And he said, I'll just leave it to the in-betweeners. <laughs> I just say, all right, here you go. Good luck. <laughs> he said, if you think, if you think that's going to be too much work, then just don't join animation. <laughs> oh, man. Keeping it real on Doki Doki Drawing. Add the, uh, the previous, the previous music. Back to Doki Doki music. Demo Tatoiba, Nabi Nabi Tedu Shin Nato, Sono, Sono Mama Yamaga Juhako. Juhachi Aru to Yokoni Nabi Tete, Juhachi Mara. I know Kazuri still nine day. Ah, Daitai no Kanji de, I know, Seno Hite, what they gave a solid book, go to Niemaska. So I asked him more specifically, if you were to show the towel waving in animation, he, and there were, for example, 18 separate bumps, would you measure those bumps and draw them all in the next frame? And he said, no, 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 no. You would get the general, the general, you would make sure it matches the, the general shape, but you don't need to like count exactly how many bumps there are or anything. <laughs> I love how all his answers are like semi-serious and semi, semi-joking, semi like, <laughs> like I would just say good luck <laughs> good luck with your new job don't quit but at the same time he's like no 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 on, an, on a serious note you wouldn't actually measure out each and every one of those bumps <laughs> R.I.P. in between is it's funny in between is what do you always use うん、細かい線を引くときは So when he's drawing あれ細い線は H H and when he's drawing thinner lines he use H which is like it's it's like it's it's there's all the Bs there's 8B 6B 4B 2B what HB and then there's H right hard 2H 4H 6H so he uses H for thinner lines and uses B for thicker lines. Okay. He's using a purple pencil now, perhaps to show. Kori Murasaki no hou ga. Ya, tada tan ni atta kara. Demo. I was just asking if there's a specific reason why he's chosen Murasaki, uh, purple, but there's no specific reason. He just said it was just there. But more lines showing the thickness of the towel. It's nice.
you know, it was a good question, Marvin. Really appreciate, really appreciate interesting questions because there's a lot of stuff that, as you know from these Doki Doki videos, there's stuff that interests me, and I'll ask the stuff that interests me, but I don't always know exactly what everyone else wants to know. So it's really great when we get to do these live shows that you guys can ask questions directly while watching. Because things, things like <laughs> animating the towel, that never really would have occurred to me. I'm never looking at the, I'm never looking at the object details or thing. I basically draw faces. I draw faces in notebooks. That's the level of animator. That's the level of illustrator I am. Well, you'll see in, in future videos about the, the different colors. It's not that those areas will become orange or blue in the shading. It's just that they need to be separated so that they, so that the people who add the color, the shading for the animators later, they need to know, is it a darker shade of skin tone or is it a darker shade of color of the towel? It's not that it's orange, it's just a, a different shading. And it's again, it's not that you need to use different colors, it's that in animation, they're working as a team, you know? They've got keyframe, well, they've got the person who comes up with this story idea first. They've got the character designers, they've got people who draw the keyframes, like Hinoe-san here. And then they've got people who do the in-between, uh, and before they do the in-betweens, they've got to do the clean-up. So everything has to be passed on. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how <laughs> Guys, check this out. We got a completed, got a completed picture here. Just zoom in so you can see. Ah, well, let's do comparison time, shall we? <laughs> For comparison, this is what I, this is what I drew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in and make it, make it look like it's, it's huge. This is my, this is my wet hair. As far as I could tell, wet hair just means you put a highlight on it, but apparently that's not the case. Essentially, the shapes I was going for were these, uh, just general, general, what do you call these? Clumps, clumps of hair. But then what Hinoe-san has drawn for us afterwards was this. And hopefully, I mean, of course, if we had, if we had like a couple of hours each to draw, we'd end up with different results, I think. But you can already see, right from the start, the approach to the the shape of the clump. Well, again, like I was saying before, he said it's much more realistic to properly draw everything together. And he, he's always saying this to me because when I draw hair, I'll draw like only the hair. And he'd be like, well, this doesn't, doesn't mean anything without the context. So he's got the the facial expression, the clothing, all of the, the pose and everything. But in addition to that, you look deeper into it. And you can see compared to, compared to the clumps of hair that I was drawing before, there's a lot more separation. なんか、さっきぽに近づくと、なんか分けるまあ、あの、乾いてる髪の毛は筆で描くじゃないですか。それを一つを五個ぐらいに分けると、それっぽく。ああ、he said what you would normally draw in like a single bundle. Maybe by comparison, when it's wet, it, it would break into maybe a, like five separate bundles. Which is why you've got these these shapes. It's like, he's got these general bundles of hair coming down, but then as you can see, I don't know how much closer I can get before the camera just freaks out. This is the, uh, ah, okay, so cool, correct. You can see it's like larger bundles, but then as it gets to the end, that's when you add all this character splitting into separate bundles. You've got this, I love this shape. I love how it's, it seems like it's going against gravity. That's how, that's how much it wants to curl up because it's wet. You've got the curls coming to the left, curls coming to the right or opposite for us, I guess. 
again, more of these large bundles of hair coming down and then actually breaking up into separate strands all the way down here to the shoulder. Again, coming down, large bundles, but then separating and then... Look at this one! This, well, this one curves so much... I love how it's 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 curling so much. It's all it's all it's even pointing upward by the by the end of this one. But and, the, and and what's really nice is there's so much variety. It's not just it's not just one single type of curve like left curves and right curves, left curves and right curves. He's got he's got these curves that are straight and then curved, straight and then curved, and then he's got other ones that are like straight, slight curve. And then another one that's like, curve, 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 and then a massive curve. And then another one here that's like, straight, curve, curve, curved. There's tons of variety. <laughs> he said it, it may be bothersome, but you know, it's, there's the variety. Hair does have that variety. And then obviously, You've got all this towel-based clothing. The bathrobe gives you more information about where this person has just been. They've probably just taken a shower, and so that's more information about the fact that this hair is wet through context, through just context alone. Shading as before under this, under the head, inside on the inside of this bathrobe, under this sleeve of the jacket, and then finally we've got these water bubbles. I asked him if this would be completely white for these white for these red dots. He said they would either be they'd either be white or blue and whatever color has been chosen for water. Dang, this is intense. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of beside myself. This is really intense. Cha kokan shite. I'm gonna call an end to the stream soon. Any final <clears throat> questions you have for Hinoe before we leave? You, now's the time. I know that there's a little bit of delay on the stream, so I'll wait a minute until your questions come in. But then we're going to wind it up. We went, we went kind of half an hour longer. He is a keyframe animator. Genga. Otsukare sama desu. Thank you very much. Yep, I'm sure that a lot of the advice that you guys put in the chat will will have will have been true. It's really nice to be able to hear your opinions, mix them with what I already think might be true, and then asking an animator how they would do it. This isn't to tell you what's correct. It's not that you should do it like this. It's just the context. He's a professional animator. If he were drawing anime, this is how he would do it. How to shade metal. Ooh. We have one video that we did on a robot. We drew the. You sh I don't know what the name of the video is right now, but we do have a video of a robot that we drew before uh, with the shading. We do a smartphone, we drew a, an angry person's face, and then a robot. It was a, it was a three part series. Do check that out. Thanks guys. No, thanks you guys for joining in the stream. This stream is is whoa, there's like over 200 people watching this. This is a new level. I think we've broken a new record today. Guys, this is epic. What's a smear frame? Smear frame. What can I ask? Smear frame to Smear frame. Let's just we're going to look up quickly what you what you looked at what you mentioned. Smear frame animation. Smear frame. <laughs> Do you mean like in a in a single image when you draw like multiple objects? こういうのよく<笑> まあ、まあ、you may remember in a previous video we did something called the obake effect. 
where the, the feet looked like they were moving uh, of, of a character that was running away, so you can check that out. I think that's probably the closest we get to smear frames, but I think that might be quite a specific animation style thing. I don't think it's super common in anime, but it, 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 I mean, it clearly has happened and it does happen. So if you've got some good examples, do let us know. Thanks for the stream. No, thanks. Thanks to you guys, man. Over 200. I'm so I'm so happy. Could yeah, it could also be post pressing. So you you go into the only not do no more. Digital they brush to So so you demo are kind of. Ma. <laughs> he said what we the examples that we looked up for smear animation on on smear frame animation on Google. He said that looks more like it's for the gag style jokey animes. Ah, Jojo no ano, muda muda ano. Ah, so no. Kobushi ga ipai ryatsu. Ah, ne, one mai de tomereba. Actually, you can check out. There's another video we did of. It was called like, hyakuretsu. Yeah, we so, so you kanji desu ka? We've got a video where we've got actually a person doing a 100, 100 punch per second uh, animation. So there's another one that might come similar to what you're talking about. Anyway, guys, we could talk about animation until the cows come home. But thank you very much for joining us. Going to end the stream there. I actually don't know which one of these buttons I need to click to switch off the whole thing. So... Just going to do my best to switch this off one by one. Do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to Doki Doki channel, Doki Doki Drawing channel. Click the subscribe button. There's two versions of the notification bell. If you click it once, it'll show you like everything that you're subscribed to on YouTube. And if you like click it again or right click or something, it will give you the only the updates from this channel. So you can customize it now. So do click the subscription bell, click subscribe. And then join us on the Discord. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to submit your own art. We often ask Hinoe and other guest artists to give us advice on how they would change the drawings and all that. And maybe if you've got specific questions as well. It's art advice requests. It's in the Discord. So click Discord. It's free to make an account. So it's good fun. We will see you in the future. Goodbye. Well, so much. <laughs> Bye.